So this is part of the Scottish video series. We are testing consumer goods for lead using various methodologies. The reason we're doing this is to show you that the home test kits actually aren't designed for testing consumer goods for lead. They're really great for testing paint and they may work on some consumer goods, but they're not ideal for testing all consumer goods. This dish is from, I'm looking, trying to see. Uh, I think it says Germany. I'm not sure. What do you think, Avi? Um, might be. It's kind of, is it an X? It looks, it looks like it's in German anyway. Mm. This is, I believe, the Finlandia Maya pattern or similar to it. I've tested many dishes with this pattern. The interesting thing is it's white with cobalt. There's no cream in the white. So a lot of people are going to think, oh, well, it's definitely going to be negative for lead. It may be negative for lead as a lot of Asian pottery with the same color scheme is negative for lead. Um, so Chinese and Korean and Japanese pottery made in Japan for those markets, made in Korea, made in China, that doesn't say made in China on the actual bottom of the piece in English, those are generally going to be free of lead. Um, but ones made for the Ch American market that say made in China on the bottom are generally gonna be leaded. So this does has a very small amount of lead, 24 parts per million. And again, as I said in the beginning, it has cobalt, 4,169. Cobalt is usually what you come up with when you test for um, the, the, the blue glaze in a, in a dish like this. And again, home test kits aren't gonna test for cobalt. Cobalt's a, a known carcinogen, a poison. And in many cases, it's in a high fire uh, dish and won't test positive um, um, for lead, but may potentially leach cobalt. Although I haven't uh, heard of a lot of cobalt poisoning issues. And I don't know if that is an ongoing concern because it hasn't been well studied. So if you test positive for cobalt in a hair study or a urine study that does a full metals panel and you have dishes with blue glaze on them, mm. then it's a good idea to stop using those dishes before you retest again and before you do a detox protocol. And they even, they call it cobalt blue, right? Yes, they they're, do. They, they call it cobalt blue, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, lead yellow, lead red. Arsenic green. Arsenic green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't heard that like as a color, mm -hmm. but yes. All right. So we're going to follow up by testing this with the reactive agent home test kit. It did test positive for trace levels of lead. We're going to see how that turns out. More in a moment. This is part two of a three-part Scotland video, Lead Safe Mama Scotland video. I'm just using that as a hashtag so you can find all these videos all, all together. Um, we know that this has cobalt, which is a poison, the, the blue, and it has very low levels of lead. It was around 40 parts per million, and we're expecting it to test negative using the reactive agent home test kit. So we're putting the kit in vinegar and rubbing it, and even though there is a trace amount of lead, we're not going to get any lead on this. The negative is done on a qualitative scale. Uh, yellow is no lead and red is lead. Here, here we have um, these three tested things with lead, very low level, false medium negatives. level, and a high level of lead. And all of those are false negatives. Here's a true positive, and here's a false positive. Well, it's not really positive because it's very orange, but if you looked at it next to the kit, you might assume that it was leaded, but in fact, that's zinc. So these test kits cannot be used for testing consumer goods. They're designed for testing for lead in paint. And we're seeing that across the board. So far, we have not gotten a consumer good with an appropriate uh, test result using this on um, <laughs> testing several different types of consumer goods. Now we're gonna also use the glowing test and see what kind of results we get with those. We're gonna wait for it to be a little bit darker to do that. <clears throat> and um, anyway, so there you have using the reactive agent home test kits to test consumer goods for lead. Thank you for, oh, we have one more. So hold on one second, and we're gonna make another video. The, look for these videos under the Scotland videos, hashtag Let's Save Mama Scotland, Scotland Let's Save Mama. And you'll be able to find all these videos where we would compare the XRF test results to the reactive agent home test kit results. We have one more video here. We tested this with the XRF. It was low level lead, like 40 parts per million. And it had um, cobalt in it, which neither of the home test kits tests for. And so now we will test it. So one thing to note is we use the swab test in the center. So we won't test there for using the glowing test kit. The glowing test kit is supposed to t detect very low levels of lead. So here we want to see the fluorescing that's happening. Not green. Which is blue. Yeah. And we're going to test it here with a spray and see if we come up with any green. And I'm really not seeing any green there. So we know this is lead. Is that green right there? No. What's some other thing? Let's do one other spot. 
So you can also try the bottom, right? The uh, the other side. Mm, this already has little blue glowing. Yeah, bits. but no, there's no green. Are those green oh, in there? Is that green? Well, it might be no. a little bit of green. It's hard to say. Either way, I wouldn't interpret that as a positive result if I was, you know, a consumer. Just, yeah. yeah. A consumer might not interpret this as a positive result. It does have lead at a safe level below 90 parts per million, which is the consumer product level, uh, consumer product safety commission level to determine if it's something's a hazard for children. But the thing that it's not test telling you is that it has cobalt. So when you're testing these consumer goods, you have to do some research. And that's why the Lead Safe Mama website, leadsafemama.com is a good resource. You can look up the similar patterns. I, I have several examples of uh, similar patterns or similar colors of glazes or similar countries of origin and find out if they have other metals in them like cobalt, mercury, cadmium, other arsenic, toxicants. antimony, other toxic metals that may be in the glaze, even if it tests negative for lead. In general, stick with clear glass and that's, mm -hmm. you know, maybe not as fun, but you can decorate your table with your food and don't invest in vintage dishware because you may be poisoning not only yourself and your family but future generations who hold on to that because oh look it was grandma's favorite dishes mm -hmm. thanks for being here